Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam, or XJaws, and today I'm bringing you guys another team deathmatch game from Call of Duty Black Ops. This time we're playing uh, with the AK-74U, and I'm going to be rushing a lot, and we are playing, obviously, Nuketown. So, uh, this was a really good game. I ended up with a pretty good score, but to be quite honest, I don't think the score did the game justice. I did really well in this game. I was rushing pretty much the whole time, and uh, everything just seemed to go my way, and uh, just pretty awesome stuff happened. So... Um, I thought I'd talk to you guys about some um, developing thoughts that I've had about Black Ops because as I play the game more and more, because really, you know, when I first get the game and make a commentary, I really can't do justice to, um, you know, how the game actually is or how it feels. But, um, you know, as I get on, or as I play it more and more, uh, I'll be able to make commentaries more and more about things I want to talk about. So, um, one thing I wanted to talk about today is um, some really, really positive things. Uh, what Treyarch has done, absolutely phenomenal. Um, one of the things that they have done uh, excellent, um, and by the way, if you don't know, Treyarch is the studio that created Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, one of the things that they did um, in an awesome, or one awesome thing that they did is um, the power of all the weapons and the health of all the players. So pretty much, it, it's perfect. It, it, it's just utterly amazing. It is awesome. Um, Treyarch could not have gotten it any better. Modern Warfare 2 didn't have it right. Call of Duty 4 was close but didn't have it right. Um, this game has it absolutely right. Um, the weaker guns, the higher health, no stopping power, no juggernaut, it works excellently. I'm not talking about gun balance, although, although there is a lot of gun balance, all the weapons seem to be fairly um, balanced. There are some exceptions, um, which I will also talk about in a little bit, um, but for the most part, um, it, it's just how fast uh, people die is just great. It, it's, you know, uh, completely manageable, not too much health, not too little. So uh, there's not much more to say about that. I just thought I'd bring it up, and uh, that's one thing that I think they did an excellent job with. Um, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was gun balance. So gun balance, um, Treyarch definitely did a better job of this, but there's an exception to this. Um, basically, uh, I'll give you guys an example, or I'll show you guys, or tell you guys what I mean. Um, lately, I've been watching a lot of commentaries from Call of Duty Black Ops, from my favorite commentators like Woody's Gamertag, Wings of Redemption, uh, some other guys, and um, I've been seeing a lot of, oh, sorry, phone. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of gameplay from um, the M16, the FAMAS, the AK-74U, and the MP5. Some other guns, uh, like the AK, um, AK, or the regular AK, not the 74U. Um, and what I've been seeing is a lot of people complaining about seeing the same guns over and over and over. So I wanted to talk about that for a little bit. Um, Call of Duty 4, um, the absolute best guns were without a doubt the M16, the MP5, occasionally the P90, and the um, AK-74U. Uh, and with this game, I'm going to say that, like again, there's a lot more gun balance. But basically, the difference between, uh, let's say, the Enfield and the FAMAS is so little, but so much more in favor of the FAMAS, that it's just like, why even use the Enfield? You see, when choosing between something like an M4... In Call of Duty 4 and an M16 in Call of Duty 4, it was a viable option to use the M4 because it had strengths that the other guns didn't. But a lot of the assault rifles and a lot of the submachine guns, actually all the guns in this game, when you compare them, they have you know very very discrete differences that it causes people to just say, well, why would I even use that? It doesn't have any advantages. And that's the case that I, and I think a lot of other people, find themselves in when choosing between things like, um, like I said, the Enfield and, you know, the Commando and the M16 and the G11. It's just like, you know, there's so much more to take from certain guns, such as the FAMAS, such as the M16, that it's like, why use the other weapons? Now, I'm not saying I won't ever post gameplays with those other weapons, I just thought I'd let you guys know my theory on why I think a lot of people are doing that. Final score, 38-2. Pretty awesome game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Bye.